Stanford University. This, this health care bill will affect every single American. This is a historic bill because it's the largest change in how health insurance is provided to Americans since Medicare was passed in 1965. The main things it'll do are, one, it will require everyone that doesn't have insurance to buy insurance. Two, it will provide a, 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 what's called an exchange where private insurers can offer plans that people can buy insurance from. Uh, all the plans that are offered on the exchange have to meet certain standards, you know, some minimum levels of coverage. Um, and uh, in some versions of the bill, they'll also be, they have to meet certain standards about pricing. Three, the, the bill will require all employers to offer insurance to their employees, or they have to pay penalties instead if they decide not to offer insurance to their employees. Four, the bill will uh, require insurers who provide insurance on the market, private market, but not through employers, to meet certain regulatory standards. So for instance, they can't exclude p people who come with uh, pre-existing conditions. So the bill will increase the number of people with insurance. On the order of 30 to 35 million people will have insurance. The bill will increase taxes, and it will cut Medicare. Those things for sure will happen. 30 million more people insured, a trillion more dollars in, ta in, in taxes and Medicare cuts. The bill will not result in a government takeover of health care. It, it, will, it will not substantially reduce the costs of care per person. Right? So it's unlikely to reduce the, the health care premiums that you face. It will not result in you know, what's, what are sometimes called death panels. Right? It will not result in the government saying to, to, uh, to doctors, you shouldn't cover uh, grandma's care because it's too expensive. What it will do on that front is it will pr uh, provide guidance to doctors about what kinds of care are most effective in certain circumstances. And then doctors and patients will make their own decisions about whether to undertake, those care, that undertake that care. It's difficult to characterize the change as either good or bad because I think it really depends on your circumstance. If you're one of the 30 million people who don't have insurance and you can't get insurance through the private market, it's a really good change. If you have an insurance plan that you like, you may, and, and the bill may, requires changes in that and you have to change who, you, who your doctor is or how much you pay, then you're probably not going to like the bill very much. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.